Hi guys, it's Chris at Court and Crown, back in my cider shed with another cider to try. And it came with the uh, line down box of ciders that we got, um, but it's not from line down. It was just a, 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 a usurper, if you like. It's from Palmer's Upland Cider. There's the bottle. Cider spelt with a Y, which I mentioned briefly in the last film. So it's not official. It's not official, but cider spelt with a Y is really whole juice you know, um, well yeast, all the stuff we like. So I think people use that sometimes to sort of intimate that they're doing it like that. Although it was on the uh, aspals we had last time, which isn't doing those things. It's not doing the things that these guys are doing. So no, this, anyone can use it if they want. But I think people like these guys at Palmer's up on the side want to set their um, cider apart because they are doing it well. These hand-picked. Actually, let's have a look at the bottle. What does it say? So in Newport, through Welsh, naturally fermented using wild yeast, ingredients, fresh cider, apple juice, sugar, and sulfite, which we still haven't talked about, but we will. Um, ba -ba -ba. 6% ABV. Uh, this all came from one orchard. It's a blend. It's a medium, I think. Uh, Hand-picked hand, uh, hand fruit, unsprayed orchards. Yeah, etc, etc. Small scale. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, a little bit of fizz. Slight sparkle. I suspect this is bottle conditioned. I'm going to say this is definitely bottle conditioned. Nice hairs on that, isn't there? Yes, Chris. Let's pour it out. It's almost like a marmalade colour to it, which I really like. Where's my thingy jig? Look at that. Look at that. It, it, it's like an orangey... It's like a marmalade. Like almost like Seville marmalade orange, I want to say that. It's like amber. It's not gold at all. It's amber, orange, Seville marmalade. That's what I want to say. So that's what I'm going to say. Slight sparkle, let's have a smell. Ooh, um, ooh. Creamy apple, I just want to say. Creamy, aged, rich apple character is what I got for that. And there is a suggestive orange about it, I want to say. Yeah, something like that. Something sort of apple orangey, it's got like a creaminess to it. Delicate but very nice notes. A very nice note. Smells watering. It doesn't smell like it's got a lot of acidity. Let's find out. It's a blend of side apples. So one assumes they will have put some in, like some sharp apples in there as well. It is quite fizzy, but the bubbles are quite fine. So I think it's just quite a spritzy bottle conditioned side of this. Um, solid tannin. I mean, the colour suggests it's going to be, you know, proper side apples with some tannin in. And it has. Not super aggressive, but it's definitely there. It's, it's good. It's firm. I like it. <clears throat> Those bubbles are so fine. They really pop on the tongue. I would almost want to say it's over fizzy because the bubbles are so fine. I really like it. Um, not much leatheriness in the back. It's got that rich, ripe, round apple character. There is a suggestion of orange about it. There is a suggestion of orange juice about it, which is really interesting. I have to say, I like it. makes it stand out. Also, that means it's got acidity. It's like a citric acidity it's got. Not massively powerful, but it's making my mouth water. It's great, in fact. And the sweetness is there, but very delicate. And it balances really well with that acidity. This is a nice cider. A nice cider. What was it? 6% did I say? 6%. We had the Aspals, it was like, what? 8.2? Just not a patch on this. It was overly sweet. Um, it wasn't as dynamic on the palate, palate as this. So gorgeous acidity. Makes me like, sh it's like sugar on oranges. I seem to remember eating that as a kid. Orange segments when my mum would like sprinkle sugar on, sugar on them and I'd eat them. It's, me it's taken me back to that. Which is not something I've thought of in literally decades. Decades. I really like this. I really like this. This is really interesting. And I want to get more. I know they're very small producer. But I'm going to try and do a trip to Herefordshire, Wales and Somerset. Like do three day trip. Two nights so I can visit a lot of these small producers. Which I haven't had a chance to, to visit. And the list is getting longer. So I'm going to have to do it at some point. These guys are definitely on that list. Because I want to try and see Kevin at Mono Valley. These guys can't be very far from him. I wouldn't have thought.
Yeah. That is nice. And it has not a pittiness. It's not a pity sort of orange thing. It's like an orange juice. Like a lovely fresh orange juice sort of character. With sugar and apple. Really interesting. I like that. A great deal. A great deal. So there you go. Palmer's Upland Cider. And in this instance, I'm very happy they're using it cider with Y. Because I think these do qualify. Even though there's not, it's not an official title, these guys do qualify and are allowed to use it. So yeah, if you can get hold of Palmer's Upland Cider, I suggest you do and try it. They do several different versions, which change every year because they're hand-picking, you know. And this is from a single orchard, but obviously what's in the orchards varies every year because you've got biennials and stuff, you know. Not every apple tree produces fruit every year. So your blend's going to change naturally, which is one of the things that makes it interesting. I think right now people are bottling the 2020. And um, there's an element of anxiety because you think, is it going to be good? Am I going to really like it? There's also the element of excitement because most of the people I deal with are very good cider makers. So they assume they're going to extract the best out of every vintage. But there's an air of excitement and an air of trepidation. And it's what makes it so interesting. It's what makes it so interesting. You know, they're just letting the apples do the fruit, the vintage do the fruit, the weather, the land, all of that do the talking. You know, and that's a great thing. All right, guys, really enjoyed that. I'm really glad I got that little extra bottle in the box. It's fantastic. Thank you, Line Down, Dare, um, Line Down Organics. Great thing. All right, guys, as always, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you join me again. But until then, cheers. <laughs>